So this week I set out for some outdoor projects, skipping the training of speed and bouldering and lead climbing, just focusing on outdoor bouldering. This one is really hard, but it's not like the best line. For sure it's like a link up of linking an 8B into Iceberg, which is an 8C that I did three weeks ago. Maybe not the best line, but it's hard and it's like been in my mind for a while and that's why it needs to be done as well. So the plan now is to refresh the moves for the starting 8B and try to find a better knee bar in like the upper crux of Iceberg which I believe could help in sending the whole boulder problem to make it like a little bit less pumpy and to find like some marginal rest. I think the knee bar is trainable in order to release the hands. Because when I was climbing the iceberg, it was a big problem that I made it quite okay here, but the last two, three moves, it's like power endurance problem. But if I did release my hands, even for a few seconds, it would help a ton. And if you will add to iceberg another 8B, of course, this will get completely different endurance dimension. So, it would be a really, really good if I found a trick how to release the hands and that would increase the chance of sending the beast. Mm. <laughs> Už, 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 už padám a hned se chytám zase, že jo? Ale ty tři sekundy prostě si myslím, že budou hrát na Karoli, no. I'm trying not to think about conditions too much. Today it's kind of like, if I want to send, I need to climb really, really, really well. But it's more like a testing day, I feel. I think I need one more day before I have a real chance, but maybe a miracle happen. I mean, it's like just climbing through the bottom as efficiently as possible, getting to the knee bar, and then if I'm lucky enough and I make a proper knee bar with at least five seconds rest, maybe I'll have a chance.
the record in releasing my hands in the knee bar and I thought, oh my god, I would do it. <sighs> but then, just before continuing, I just fell off a knee bar. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Neměl, ale ještě jak jsem šel, tak jsem se ještě ťuknul dlaní o nějaký, že jsem to ani netečnul. Ale jako na teď jsem rozhodně měl. Nějaká jako procentní šance to možná ještě byla. To už není dobře spíš cesta. Ale jo, neuvěřitelný. To je čtvrtý pokus, tyhle. Well, I didn't expect to send it today, but eventually I was really, really, really close. On this first try, when I remain 10 seconds without my hands, I think I could have done it on that try. On the second try, I released my hands in the knee bar, but not long enough to be strong enough to finish it off. I didn't want to take like enough risk, but not taking enough risk in releasing the, the hands in the knee bar means I'm going to fall off in the last move. That's the way it is. Back on the project, it's day three. And I was a little worried about the yesterday's rain. It was raining a lot, but I think the conditions are pretty good. I feel good, my skin feels good. I mean, now I can definitely feel the pressure that the game is on and I should perform. Let's see. <laughs>
felt the most solid in the knee bar ever. Felt like a couch. <laughs> and that changed the whole water problem. I didn't feel exceptionally strong like in my arms, but I felt really strong in my calf and in my core. And that let me like really release my hands and be completely relaxed. And thanks to that I did the last three moves. Not even on the limit. Just good. Well, three days it's just the perfect number of days to to kind of keep it fun. <laughs> the more days you are trying a project, the more challenging it becomes and in a way more interesting. But third day on it's still kind of like light and easy and really fun. So I managed to stay within that number. 